In this video we're going to look at how you can work out the number of combinations of picking a certain number of items from a large group. So initially we're going to look at the number of ways three items can be selected from a group of six. Now there's a, a formula we can use to calculate this and that formula is um, n factorial over n minus r factorial r factorial and for this we need to know what a factorial is so a factorial is when we um, multiply a number by each integer less than it um, down as far as one so five factorial is five times four times three times two times one and um, three factorial will be three times two times one so n is the number of items um, that are available to be um, picked from and r is the number that we're interested in. So in this first example we're interested in um, 6 factorial which is the number of items divided by 6 minus 3 factorial 3 factorial. So 6 factorial is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Now your calculator probably has a function with factorial. So I'm just going to type this in to my calculator. So my factorial button is up here. So 6 factorial divided by 6 subtract 3 factorial multiplied by 3 factorial and I can see there I've got 20 okay so as you can see how it looks like on the screen so that is equal to 20 so there are 20 different ways I can select three items from a group of six there are other ways of writing this um, rather than doing it in a sentence so one of them is to write it uh, using this format so C for combinations, so from a group of seven I want to know how many combinations of two are there. So I can use the formula again, so I've got here seven factorial over seven subtract two factorial two factorial and I can evaluate that. Um, I can also use the combinations function on my calculator to do it in one step okay so I'm just going to do this this way to start with so um, 7 factorial over 7 subtract 2 factorial times 2 factorial and I can see there are 21 um, but I can obtain that using down here I've got a combinations button NCR so if I do 7 NCR2 it gets me 21 straight away. Okay, so I can use that to speed things up. So 21. So for this one, how many ways are there of picking one item from a group of eight? Well, that might seem obvious that there are eight ways, but let's just check it on the calculator. So 8 NCR1 is indeed 8. And then finally here in question four, we see um, a different sort of notation. So this notation works the same way. So from a group of four items, I wish to know how many ways there are of selecting one of them. So four NCR one, and I just get four. And again, that might seem obvious. There are four items. If you're gonna pick one of them, well, you've got only got four options. 